Good evening and welcome to Compline on Friday evening. Let's have a moment of quiet as we gather our thoughts, not just from this day, but also from this week. Ask God to quieten our hearts so we can concentrate wholly on him tonight. O oh Lord, you will keep us safe and protect us forever. I'm placing my soul and my body in thy safekeeping this night, O oh God. In thy safekeeping, O oh Jesus Christ. In thy safekeeping, O oh Spirit of perfect truth. The three who would defend my cause be keeping me this night from harm. I call on you, O oh God for you will answer me. Give ear to me and hear my prayer. Show the wonder of your great love, you who save by your right hand those who take refuge in you from their falls. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Lighten my darkness, Lord. Let the light of your presence dispel the shadows of night. Tonight we're in Exodus for both of our readings. Chapter 3 verse 19 says, I will make all my goodness pass before you and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before you. Moses wanted to know God, to be, his, to be in his presence and experience him personally. In fact, God was even more important to him than conquering the promised land. God brought Moses into a more profound relationship by giving him a deeper revelation of his goodness. When Moses learned his name, he knew that God had honoured him with an amazingly intimate understanding of his character. Do you ache to know God tonight? You can. You can know him more profoundly because he offers you a great revelation of his kindness and nature through every situation. Just ask him to reveal himself to you. It is a request he is always glad to grant. In verse 17 of chapter 33 in Exodus says, The Lord said to Moses, I will do this very thing you have asked, for you have found favour in my sight, and I know you by name. Let's have a prayer before we have a time of quiet. Dear God, more than anything else, I want to know you. Reveal your goodness and your name to me, so that I may know you deeply. Amen. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together, shall we? 
our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Christ with me sleeping, Christ with me waking, Christ with me watching each day and each night. Save us, Lord, while we are awake. Guard us while we are asleep, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. God with me protecting, the Lord with me directing, the Spirit with me strengthening for ever and for evermore. In the name of the Father precious and of the Spirit of healing balm, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I lay me down to rest. The peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me again this week. Please take care of yourselves and others. Have a good weekend. Good night and God bless you.